Each Veterans Day, we extend our gratitude to all our service members who spent time in the military for the benefit of our country. And this year, we're also extending our thanks to those who stepped up and helped fill the gap at home during World War II. Our Karen Borda is sharing the story of a local woman who rolled up her sleeves and got the job done because her country was counting on her. She's an icon almost as familiar as Uncle Sam, Rosie the Riveter. A symbol of strength and will, she's the housewife turned war hero who traded family chores for factory work to help our men on the front lines during World War II. When the war began, World War II, uh, President Roosevelt was asking the girls to take the boys places that had to go to service. 101-year-old Grace Brown of Mesquite was a real-life Rosie contributing to the war effort on the home front. We had a meeting and we had choices as, as what to do. Could have been a, a, a pilot on a trans, you know, transport planes or other things that we could have done. Well, I chose a safer thing. I said, I'll be a machinist. <laughs> the women were paid and many received free housing. In Fort Worth, workers constructing B-24 Liberators for Consolidated lived in Liberator Village in buildings like this one on Wyatt Drive. Grace worked at the Consolidated plant, which is now Lockheed Martin. Here's a highly circulated photo of Grace during those years. Well, I was just doing my job, and the uh, government came in and started taking pictures. I couldn't say, wait a minute, I've got to put, go put on some makeup or I've got to put on a clean apron or anything like that. <laughs> North Texas was a hub of aviation production during World War II. There were two major facilities. Uh, in Dallas, you had the North American Aviation Firm, uh, which was building the T-6 Texas trainer uh, during the buildup of the Air Force prior to the war. Uh, that plant later went on to produce P-51 Mustang fighters and B-24 Liberator bombers. The second plant was in Tarrant County over in Fort Worth, operated by the Consolidated uh, Corporation, where they built the B-24 bomber. The B-24 Liberator is the most produced American aircraft of World War II at slightly more than 18,000 uh, units. Uh, roughly 20% of those were built in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. This one remains on display at the Commemorative Air Force Museum in Dallas. My dad did not like me working as a machinist. He said, Oh, they're only going to teach you to sweep the floor. But Grace was taught much more, skills she used long after the war. Kept all my tools and my toolbox. And <laughs> the Rosie image was one of the most successful recruiting campaigns in U.S. history. In July, a mural at Fort Worth's Vintage Flying Museum was unveiled in the Rosie Garden. The painting was created fittingly by two local female artists. Grace Brown was in attendance. You just felt like it was your duty. All told, roughly about a third of the workers, and would vary from plant to plant, would be female. That's a pretty substantial contribution. I am just as patriotic now as I was in 1941. 80 years later, Grace says Rosie's message remains just as relevant today. We can do it. Karen Borda, CBS News, Texas. And we are thankful for Miss Grace for doing it. Dallas resident John Luckadoo is a bomber pilot, was a bomber pilot in World War II, and is now working to persuade Congress to nationally recognize our home front heroes with a special day of honor for themselves. Yeah, that'd be great. I would love to see that. Oh, me too.